Wait, are you finding the coefficient of drag? Hello, welcome to the coefficient of drag lab. In this lab, you'll be using this wind tunnel to find the coefficient of drag of these different objects. We have a sphere, a cup-shaped object, a large flat disc, and a streamlined object. To mount the object, in this case we're using the sphere, just get the hole and place it on the metal bar in there. And make sure that this is zeroed. And you can zero it by adjusting a knob on the back of this dial here. This knob allows you to calibrate the force meter. You can adjust this and swivel this to make sure the meter is zeroed. On the right side here is the power switch. Turn this on to turn the wind tunnel on. And as you can see on this knob here, there are six different settings. Align this large black flat spot right here with each setting and go from one to two to three, four, five, and six. They're staggered like that to increase accuracy and to ensure that air doesn't accumulate in the power setting. Next, take the pitot tube attached to the digital manometer to get your pressure reading and velocity reading. Insert it in the slot on the top and hold it perpendicular to the flow, making sure it is level and directly into the flow. Otherwise, your readings will be errant. Once you turn the power on, get the force reading from the meter and the pressure and velocity reading from the pitot tube. You change the power setting on the dial and repeat the process. Once you get all six settings for each object, you go to the next object. Here's some pro tips to make sure you get this lab done right. Do not use this anemometer because it does not get a correct velocity reading for the wind speed. Instead, take the velocity reading from the pitot tube. Also, do not stand directly in front of the entrance of the wind tunnel when it's operating because it blocks the flow and decreases the force reading and you get inaccurate results. Thank you for watching the Coefficient of Drag instructional video. We hope you've enjoyed it and are well informed. We ask that you use the utmost safety precautions as you do this laboratory experiment, and good luck. Thank you for watching this. Oh, crap. <laughs>